so Max Zuniga Hidalgo, I am a filmmaker, I directed uh, San Cristobal that won the Teddy Award for Best Short in Berlinale 2015. Thank you so much for having me and uh, happy birthday Teddy Award, it's great that you're 30 years old and moving into full adulthood. I hope you continue to grow older. Omar, I'm very happy to do this interview with you, thank you for doing this interview with us. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm great. Uh, I'm at home in Brooklyn, New York, and I've been here for the past few years, but now I'm moving to Chile in January, so it's a transition uh, stage in my life. But it's, it's great, I'm excited about moving back to Chile and uh, doing some projects over there. Mm -hmm. Well, your movie San Cristobal is set in Chile. Um, well, it is about a relationship between two men, or well, how they got to know each other, and it's a short movie, so it's showing the beginning. Um, how did you come up with the idea? What was what is the background of the movie? I well, uh, like I said, I was in New York and I needed to uh, graduate from my master's, so I had to do a thesis project, and and I wanted to shoot something that was very intimate and personal to me, and uh, and and I took some of my own experiences and started from there, and it and it, it became much more. Uh, uh, much more of a work of fiction, but I started with some um, uh, elements of my biography and then I started writing and getting into that world. I really wanted to shoot something that was small and intimate and realistic and moving and emotional and in Spanish with close friends in Chile, close to home and close to my own life experiences. So those kind of factors in, were, you know, kind of like a the starter uh, for how the story developed after and and then I sort of took it from there and started writing about these characters and this world that I was really interested in. Mm -hmm. Well, the movie also deals with homophobia in, in the countryside in Chile. Can you tell us a bit about the situation for queer people in Chile? Uh, sure. Um, uh, Chile, I think, has uh, changed rapidly over the past few years. Uh, since, for example, since February, since the Teddy Award, and now uh, a civil union bill was enacted. It was passed uh, earlier in the year, but now it's enacted so people can actually subscribe civil unions, which is groundbreaking for a, for a very conservative uh, Roman Catholic, mostly Roman Catholic country. So most of the public opinion is leading towards acceptance and, um, and towards, you know, actual civil rights, like the civil union. But then I think uh, there are, of course, still conflicting issues in terms of the, like uh, work discrimination in some places. And uh, what I was really interested in with this story is to explore how uh, a province or like a small town is still has that like small town mindset and how it's still conflicting with the, uh, a more contemporary point of, view, point of view that you would see in like a bigger city like Santiago or other cities in the country. So I was really interested in seeing how this Chile is kind of like a, a halfway between something more modern and something older, and and how and the tensions that that creates. Um, so I would say uh, that things are moving in a much quicker pace than they were in the past in terms of like acceptance and and and, and right for LGBT people. But um, but I think that there's still a long way to go, and I think we can you know go there eventually. You know. Mm. You were saying that, that the situation changed quite rapidly in the last years. Would you say that queer art, queer filmmaking also has a role in that change? Uh, I would. I would. I mean, um, I can't come up with like examples that have been a great success in terms of like audience in Chile. There have been some like queer themed movies, but I do believe in film in general as an aspect of like you know approaching like approaching people emotionally to a story, making them connect with like actual human beings that are on your screen and understand them more and I feel that um, the short certainly has had that effect in Chile. Uh, well, th that's another uh, update since we last talked. It. Now the film has premiered in Chile and it's been shown there. And um, it's great to hear all these reactions from like, you know, older people or uh, people who necessarily weren't that close to a subject of like people that recognize that they're being really touched and sort of like understanding more of uh, the reality of queer people and how that brings them more into, you know, a, a place of understanding. And I think that's great. And I, and I love to 
uh, and I love for the film to have that effect certainly. Um, uh, so I do think that they, it can be a way. I don't know that uh, of you know uh, uh, moving that uh, it, moving our issues forward. But uh, I don't know necessarily that in today it's been like uh, there has been many examples. But I think there they could be if we keep on working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what well, you said that that the movie was very well perceived in Chile, and right now you're working on developing it into a long movie, into a feature film, right? Yeah. How does that go? It's going great. We've been uh, rewriting and working on it a lot. Uh, I feel like I really wanted to have it uh, be a step up. It's certainly inspired by these characters, but it's certainly very different. And we see other aspects of their environment and their uh, surroundings. And we ideally would like to shoot in 2016. Um, I think that at some point we uh, might uh, do some kind of crowdfunding effort, so I think I'll definitely keep you posted. We'd love to have the support of the international um, community, and you know, I think that people uh, would like to be involved. So I think we were um, thinking of ways to finance this shoot and ideally shoot it during 2016. Mm -hmm. Well, you are a rather young filmmaker. You you sort of at the beginning of your career. Your short movie was the graduation movie from from university. Would you say that you that you place yourself with your movies into a certain queer film history? Uh, well, I would be flattered if that was the case. <laughs> I, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I I hope so. Uh, it would be great uh, to know you know to share that community or to belong to that community. I would be proud of it and. Um, you know, we're really happy with the way the short has been received internationally, starting in Berlin, which was an amazing experience personally and professionally. Uh, it's been going to all these other places, and what I, you know, what it's, what's been really gratifying is like people's emotional response to the film, or how they connect to it, whether you know they're straight or within the LGBT spectrum. It's like it's been well received in both ends, and I and I love that about it. The fact that uh, you know uh, the people of any orientation can relate to it and see that we all love in the same way, and you know, uh, I, I just uh, I just feel very gratified throughout this year uh, because people have been able to see it and to recognize that aspect in you know themselves. Hmm. You already mentioned Berlin a few times now. Um, what would you say was was the impact the award had on on you on your personal life and also on the movie? Uh, well, uh, it's been a huge impact uh, in, in in my career. It's um, it's certainly confirmed, um, you know, uh, that that you know that this work uh, is has an echo in many different kinds of audiences, and I uh, I don't know. Of course, it's, it's, it's gratifying personally, but it's also meant that the film has screened in many other countries and places and cities, and it's been seen, I don't know, by countless uh, people, and, and that's great. It's amazing to, for the film that we started as, as, a, as a very like, small and contained project with like a group of friends that were doing something together. It became uh, something bigger, and that's really gratifying. And, um, and the work has certainly helped in you know, in it being seen internationally, and we're really glad with that, with the fact that it's been seen, you know, in Korea, Italy, Indonesia, like all these other countries, and um, and how people from different parts of the world can see somehow themselves in it, and that's really great. Yeah. Mm. Well, you've been to the to the Teddy Awards party, and um, <clears throat> well, you've been to the Teddy Awards. So, what is something you would wish for for the Teddy Award for the future? Are there any wishes you have how it would how it could develop in the future? Uh, well, I I think it's it has a, an immense like an immense impact in, in in you know in filmmakers and their careers and how we all celebrate these differences and you know even though um, Europe is very different from what it was 30 years ago, like I feel that 30 years ago it was really, uh, it was tougher and it was great that it started and recognizing like the different realities and, and now we all almost take it for granted like how diverse we can be but yeah, I feel that in many parts of the world it is still, it's not the case and I feel that the award uh, 
it's really important that way. Um, elements of my biography and then I started writing and getting into that world. I really wanted to shoot something that was small and intimate and realistic and moving and emotional and in Spanish with close friends in Chile, close to home and close to my own life experiences. So those kind of factors in, were, you know, kind of like um, the starter uh, full into full adulthood. I hope you continue to grow older. Omar, I'm very happy to do this interview with you. Thank you for doing this interview with us. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm great. Uh, I'm at home in Brooklyn, New York. and I've been here for the past few years, but now I'm moving to Chile in January. So it's a transition uh, state. I, well, uh, like I said, I was in New York and I needed to uh, graduate from my master's, so I had to do a thesis project. and. And I wanted to shoot something that was very intimate and personal to me, and um, and and I took some of my own experiences and started from there, and it and it, it became much more uh, uh, much more of a work of fiction. But I started with some. Hello. My name is Omar Zuniga Hidalgo, I am a filmmaker. I directed uh, San Cristobal that won the Teddy Award for Best Short in Berlinale 2015. Thank you so much for having me and uh, happy birthday Teddy Award. It's great that you're 30 years old and will age in my life. But it's, it's great, I'm excited about moving back to Chile and uh, doing some projects over there. Mm -hmm. Well, your movie San Cristobal is set in Chile. Um, well, it is about a relationship between two men or well how they got to know each other and it's a short movie so it's showing the beginning um, how did you come up with the idea what was what is the background of the movie 